The news broke like a thunderclap across global markets. Philippines unearths world-class rare earth deposit. Stock prices for Chinese rare earth monopolies plummeted, while hope surged in tech and defense industries. The Mindanao discovery wasn't just geological, it was a geopolitical earthquake. Suddenly the Philippines was at the center of a new global economic order. For years the world had depended on a single source for these critical elements. Now, a new player had entered the game. Early reports from the Philippine Mines and Geosciences Bureau hinted at a deposit vast enough to supply global demand for years. Governments and corporations scrambled to reassess their supply chains and alliances. Geologists called it a freak of nature. All 17 rare earth elements, including the most coveted heavy rare earths, concentrated in one place. The narrative of global resource dependency was flipped overnight. From Washington to Brussels, leaders rushed to grasp the implications, not just for smartphones, but for national security. The Mindanao find offered a chance to break free from a strategic chokehold that had long worried Western military planners. The quiet island in the southern Philippines had become one of the most strategically important places on the planet. The world was watching, waiting to see what would happen next. To grasp the impact of this discovery you need to understand rare earths. They're not truly rare but finding them in minimal concentrations is. For decades, China built a near-total monopoly controlling over 90% of supply in the complex, polluting refining process. This gave Beijing enormous leverage, one it wielded without hesitation. These 17 elements are the backbone of modern technology and defense, from vibrant screens and EV batteries to missile guidance and advanced radar. Dependence on a single rival was a vulnerability the world couldn't ignore. In 2010, China halted exports to Japan, showing how easily supply could be weaponized. The world searched for alternatives, but new projects struggled to compete with China's scale and low costs. The Mindanao discovery changes everything. It's the first credible large-scale alternative to China's monopoly. It offers a path to resilient, diversified supply chains for the technologies of the future. The Philippines and its allies now hold a powerful new card on the global stage. The balance of power is shifting. This wasn't a foreign corporation's triumph. It was a Filipino story. Dr. Elena Reyes and her small team of University of the Philippines geologists believed Mindanao's geology held secrets. Underfunded and overlooked, they pressed on, driven by patriotism and scientific curiosity. They braved jungles, rivers, and security threats, collecting thousands of samples. Skepticism and funding woes didn't stop them. Dr. Reyes, a world-class geochemist, turned down offers abroad to pursue this dream at home. The breakthrough came late one night in their modest lab, a junior geologist's test results were off the charts, neodymium and dysprosium concentrations were unprecedented, they ran the tests again and again, each time, the results held. They'd found one of the richest ion adsorption clay rare earth deposits outside China. The team worked in secret, verifying data and mapping the deposit before alerting the government. They felt the weight of responsibility. This was more than a scientific paper. They were now custodians of a national treasure. Their persistence had paid off. Soon, the world would know what a handful of Filipino patriots had achieved. The Mindanao deposit's true miracle is its geology. Unlike most rare earths locked in hard rock, these are found in ion adsorption clay, making extraction far simpler and cleaner. Traditional mining is costly and polluting, but here the elements are loosely attached to clay particles, thanks to millions of years of tropical weathering. This is the same deposit type that gave China its initial dominance, but Mindanao's is richer and has more valuable heavy rare earths. Mining can use in situ leaching. A mild solution washes the rare earths from the clay, minimizing environmental impact, no massive open pits, no explosive blasting. The environmental footprint is smaller and costs are dramatically lower. This unique geology bypasses the technical and financial barriers that have kept other countries out of the game. The Philippines could move from discovery to production quickly and affordably. Mindanao's anomaly is a shortcut to global leadership in rare earths. It's a game changer for the country's economy. The world is watching the Philippines' next move. The global response was immediate. Within hours, the Philippine government was flooded with calls from ambassadors and trade ministers. The US, Japan, South Korea, and the EU all wanted in, eager to secure supply chains and reduce dependence on China. Markets surged for Western mining and tech companies. Chinese rare earth stocks tumbled. 
analysts began modeling a new, more competitive rare earths market. The discovery accelerated plans for new magnet factories and EV battery plants in the West. The Quad Alliance, US, Japan, Australia, India, put the Philippine find at the top of its agenda. China publicly downplayed the discovery, but privately, Beijing understood the threat to its leverage. The global supply chain was about to become more distributed and resilient. The Mindanao find was a catalyst for a fundamental realignment of global strategy. For the first time in decades, the world saw a credible alternative to China's dominance. The Philippines was now at the epicenter of a new era in resource competition. The stakes had never been higher. For the Philippines, this is a once-in-a-generation chance to transform its destiny. If managed well, Mindanao's rare earths could generate tens of billions in annual revenue. This could fund infrastructure, education, healthcare, and a sovereign wealth fund for future generations. The project would create thousands of skilled jobs and spark supporting industries. Mindanao, long plagued by poverty and conflict, could see a new path to peace and prosperity. Beyond raw exports, the Philippines could build a fully integrated supply chain, refining, manufacturing and innovating at home. Foreign investment and technology transfer could help the country leapfrog into high-tech industries. For decades, the Philippines exported its people. Now, it could create high-paying jobs at home. The discovery offers a chance to reverse brain drain and build a self-reliant, tech-driven economy. This is more than wealth from the ground. It's a shot at a new national identity. Mindanao's promise is not just prosperity, but pride. The world is watching to see if the Philippines can seize this opportunity. The future is in its hands. But history offers a warning, the resource curse. Many nations blessed with natural wealth have seen it fuel corruption, conflict and stagnation. Sudden riches can overwhelm institutions, making economies dangerously dependent on a single commodity. Corruption is the greatest risk. Powerful interests may siphon off wealth, leaving ordinary people behind. The Philippines, with its history of governance challenges, must be vigilant. Environmental risks are real too. Even cleaner mining can threaten land and water if not managed carefully. Without strict regulations, the quest for profit could leave a legacy of poisoned land. Avoiding the resource curse requires foresight, discipline, and strong, transparent institutions. The wealth must benefit all Filipinos, not just a privileged few. The world is full of cautionary tales, squandered opportunities, broken promises. The Philippines stands at a crossroads. The choices made now will decide if this discovery is a blessing or a curse. The nation must learn from history to write a better future. To make Mindanao a true blessing, people and planet must come first. Local communities, especially indigenous peoples, are the most important stakeholders. Their rights, culture, and voices must be respected. They must be genuine partners, not obstacles. Free, prior and informed consent is essential communities must have all the facts and the right to say no. If they agree, they deserve a fair share of benefits, jobs, education, and infrastructure. Transparency is non-negotiable. Every contract, payment, and decision must be open to public scrutiny. The Philippines should join the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative to ensure accountability. Secrecy breeds corruption. Transparency is its enemy. Environmental stewardship must be a priority. Comprehensive impact assessments, protected areas, and world-class waste management are essential. The goal, leave the land better than it was found. Progress that destroys nature is not progress. It's theft from future generations. The world will judge the Philippines by how it balances growth with justice. This is a test of national conscience. The path ahead is both thrilling and perilous. The Philippines needs more than a plan, it needs a unified vision. Leadership must rise above politics and unite the nation around this opportunity. A clear, fair national policy for rare earth management is essential, crafted with input from experts, industry, civil society, and Mindanao's communities. An independent body should oversee the industry, ensuring transparency, accountability, and long-term benefit. Professionals with integrity, not politicians, must manage this resource for the nation's future. Education and capacity building are crucial. Invest in geology, engineering, and technical training to maximize Filipino participation. The goal, Filipinos leading at every level, from mine to boardroom. The Mindanao discovery is a test of national character, of wisdom, integrity, and care for people and planet. This is a moment to dream big, 
a future where the Philippines leads in technology and sustainable development. With unity and vision, the nation can seize this historic chance. The world is watching. This is the Philippines' moment to shine.